Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we'll learn about 10 signs you're burnt out, not lazy. Now, let's begin. Have you noticed a sudden decline in your productivity? Are you having trouble motivating yourself to work, to exercise, or even to get out of bed in the morning? What you're experiencing is known as burnout. Burnout's a physical and emotional state that's characterized by fatigue, detachment, and a perceived lack of accomplishment. Burnout affects many of us, even the world's most productive and successful people. But we often fail to recognize the signs of burnout when they appear. Instead of acknowledging excess stress and emotional fatigue, we associate our low productivity with something else, a lazy work ethic. From the outside, laziness and burnout can sometimes look similar. Both decrease your productivity and sap your energy. Both leave you feeling detached from your passions and cynical about your potential. But there's a big difference between laziness and burnout. A lazy person is someone who never feels like doing work. They're constantly lacking motivation, they're making excuses, and they're pursuing instant gratification. As a result, lazy people struggle with self-discipline and rarely find success, especially in competitive fields. On the other hand, burnout affects highly productive people, typically during periods of heightened stress. All right, let's say you've been working yourself into the ground, glued to your computer from early in the morning to late at night. At first, your drive and passion keep you afloat, giving you the energy and motivation to grind 24-7. But eventually, the non-stop stress of your daily routine wears away at your physical and emotional health. What comes next is often a notable decline in your productivity and motivation. In other words, you experience burnout after working too hard for too long without giving your body and mind a chance to rest and recharge. So how do you know if you're a lazy person who's just being lazy or a high achieving person that's struggling with burnout? If you've recently been unmotivated or unproductive, then you'll want to listen to the rest of this video as we dive into 10 vital signs of physical and emotional exhaustion. If you notice several of these signs in your life, you're not lazy, you're burnt out. Number 1. The Snooze Button When you wake up, do you have trouble getting out of bed? Do you find yourself hitting the snooze button more than once every day? If this sounds familiar, then you may worry that you're developing bad, lazy habits. But hitting the snooze button isn't always a sign of laziness. It's more likely that you're struggling with physical or emotional burnout. When you're burnt out, no amount of sleep seems to recharge your batteries. Every morning, you wake up feeling more tired and unmotivated than the day before. In other words, the reason you keep hitting the snooze button isn't that you're lazy it's because you're far more exhausted than you think. Number 2. Total Depletion How do you feel when you get home from work? After a long day, you may find yourself craving distractions and instant gratification. You may turn on the TV, scarf down a big meal, or crawl into bed, lacking the energy to do anything else. In these moments, you feel totally depleted. Even though there are other things that you want to do and could be doing, you just can't muster the energy or motivation to go the extra mile. Whenever we fail to live up to our standards, we criticize ourselves for being lazy or unproductive, but laziness isn't the problem here. You're totally exhausted after work because the stress of your daily life is getting to you. It's likely been a while since you've adequately rested your body and mind. Without rest, we only have enough energy to do the minimum in our lives. We go to work, sit at our desks, and fulfill mandatory responsibilities. But what about your personal goals and dreams? What about your hobbies, interests, and relationships? These things slip through our fingers as stress and fatigue take over our lives. If work seems to sap every ounce of your energy, you're not lazy or unmotivated. You're burnt out. Number 3. Lack of Progression Do you feel like your life is standing still? Do you worry you're not progressing quickly enough or keeping up with the competition? 
This perceived lack of progression is prevalent among people with physical or emotional burnout. It seems from your perspective that everyone's doing more than you. Your efforts to catch up feel futile. Every time you double your efforts, it only worsens your exhaustion. The good news is this, you're not as behind as you think. By your standards, you may not be as productive as before, but that doesn't make you lazy or incapable. What you need is a chance to step back, to measure your progress, and to create a new plan of attack. Because right now, you're too stressed and fatigued to see things how they really are. Number 4. Begrudging Cynicism Do you feel trapped in a job with no growth potential? Lately, you may be feeling restless and uninspired, wishing you could move on to something new, but the prospect of searching for a new job? Well, oh, that terrifies you even more. Deep down, you're scared to put your comfortable life at risk. So what do you do? You begrudgingly stay where you are. As a result, your relationship with your work becomes increasingly cynical. Burnout leads many people to think negatively about their futures. If you, like many people, feel stuck between a rock and a hard place, trapped in a job you don't like or want, it may be time to step back and reconsider your situation because stress and exhaustion can affect your judgment more than you realize. Number 5. Loss of Meaning Are you struggling with feelings of emptiness in your life? Lazy people tend to be unproductive by choice, so they rarely experience feelings of unfulfillment or dissatisfaction in their professional lives. These are the feelings of someone who wants to be productive, but, for some reason, they can't. In other words, your life feels empty because there's something you want or someplace you want to go. You just don't have the energy or the motivation to get there. Before you assume you've lost your touch, consider the possibility that you're burnt out. A reasonable period of rest may be all you need to give your life meaning again. Number 6. Quitting Fantasies Have you ever fantasized about quitting your job? This is surprisingly common among people experiencing heavy burnout. At work, you may dream about setting yourself free. In your fantasy, you walk into your boss's office and confidently declare, I'm quitting and I'm never coming back. If this situation lights a fire inside you, then you're most likely burnt out and you need a break. We experience quitting fantasies when, deep down, we're not happy or satisfied with how things are. Now, that doesn't mean you have to leave your job right this second. Quitting may not be the right decision for you down the road. Regardless, you shouldn't ignore these dreams when they appear. They may seem like harmless fantasies, but they can be warning signs of emotional burnout. Number 7. Avoiding Work Talk Do you like talking about your job, hobbies, and passions? Months or years ago, you might have been proud of your career. You may have talked about your job and passions at length. You may have sparked up conversations with co-workers or sought connections with people in your field. But nowadays, you'd rather talk about anything else. You're perpetually uninterested in your job and no longer proud to tell others about your work. Perhaps talking about your job stirs up negative feelings, or maybe it sounds exhausting, almost like you're doing more work. If you don't discuss what you do every day, this may be a sign of emotional burnout. You may not have the same level of interest or enthusiasm. Furthermore, you may worry that you're getting lazy, but the truth is, you're burnt out and you need a break. Number 8. Dwindling Concentration In the past, you could sit down and focus on a project with little effort. You could dive right in, working for hours on a moment's notice. Over time, however, it's become more difficult for you to concentrate for long periods. For example, you might have trouble focusing for more than a few minutes without craving some kind of distraction. If this sounds familiar, then you're likely experiencing psychological burnout. Little by little, you're becoming detached and resentful of your work. You're having trouble focusing because you no longer care about what you do. 
In other words, you may not be a lazy person, but you'll stay this way until you find the courage to change. Number 9. Ambitious Anger When a lazy person is forced to work, they often feel frustrated or annoyed that someone is forcing work upon them. But when you're burnt out, you're not angry at your job or your boss, you're mad at your inability to get things done. Whether you're having trouble concentrating or seeking pointless distractions, you're most likely upset at yourself for failing to satisfy your standards. This is not only a sign of emotional burnout but also a clear indicator of your personal and professional intentions. In other words, you may feel lazy and angry right now, but those feelings only prove how ambitious you are. Number 10. Running in Circles People experiencing emotional burnout often complain about the same issues. You run into nearly identical problems day after day, week after week, with no signs of improvement. To the people around you, you probably sound like a broken record. Over-complaining is a common symptom of burnout. Like many people, you probably don't realize how often you complain about your work. So, ask the people close to you, like your friends or partner. If they're tired of you complaining about the same old things, then you're not lazy or unmotivated. You're just burnt out. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.